In this tutorial, we'll see what is uh, pre-signed S3 URLs. Let me give a scenario where we used pre-signed S3 URLs. So we have an application where we build analytics on top of data lake. As part of that, we collect data from different sources. And so right now, we are collecting uh, data from on-premise application through API Gateway. But we have a challenge. When customers upload files through API Gateway to S3 bucket, the API Gateway has a payload limitation. 10 MB is the payload limit for API Gateway. Okay, if customer has a file which is more than 10 MB, how he can upload those details to S3? That's the challenge we have. To solve this problem, what we did is, we implemented pre-signed URL. So pre-signed URL gives you temporary access to upload or download files from and to S3 object. Now, if client has a file which is about 10 MB, he will use direct API gateway to upload. In case if he has huge files like 50 MB, 30 MB, which is not supported by API gateway, we provide them uh, pre-signed URLs using that client can directly upload files to S3. To keep all these uploads safe and secure, we are giving them a short a short term temporary credentials via pre-signed URLs such that client can upload files to S3 directly. I have written a small piece of code using Python Boto3 SDK for generating pre-signed URLs for post. If you see this piece of code, I'm getting client of S3. I'm calling generate pre-signed post. I'm giving the bucket where I want to upload my file and the file name itself I want to upload. And I'm giving expires in 60 seconds. So client will have 60 seconds time to complete his upload. After that, the URL we give, pre-signed URL we give to the client is not valid. This code requires access key and secret key. So whoever generates pre-signed URLs, they must have permissions to generate those URLs. Once I get the information about that pre-signed URL, in order to show this, I am printing it onto the console. From this line onwards, you can think of this piece of code is present inside my application. And once we return back this information. You can assume the client application uses that response. From there, it gets the pre signed URL and sends that information to S3 directly. So, we are opening a file which I want to upload to my S3 bucket. I'm, I'm preparing few properties there. I'm using request object. I have installed request uh, Python module for sending post request using that I'm, I'm calling post if you remember i got this pre-signed url for post operation nothing but uploading files from the response i'm getting the url okay and i'm passing some data which contains fields i'll show what those fields are in a moment and the file itself i want to upload the file itself I want to upload. This is the file which is having that uh, file input stream. After upload is success, we're getting this status. To repeat, this piece of code doesn't need any access to AWS. I mean to say, it doesn't need any permanent access key secret keys to upload to AWS because when I do upload, I am passing few details as part of this request which contains pre-signed information of S3. Let me run this code. First, it gets pre-signed URL. I will show how it looks like on the console. Using that pre-signed URL, I am uploading my file to S3 bucket. The file I want to upload is along with my uh, project source code. So after calling that pre-signed function, it's returning back me the URL. 
it's also returning back few fields like what is the key and some additional data this is our temporary credentials which i am passing back to a post method when i am using request dot post so this is how uh, pre sign urls work so right now i am inside that s3 bucket a file is uploaded to s3 without any permanent access keys and secret keys 